Last day of fall will be 100% growth, but because the grass, grass doesn't start growing until the first day of spring, uh, we don't get a full growth cut at the end of spring. If I waited till the first day of summer, we'd get a full growth cut, but uh, then you cut in autumn and you'll get a partial cut at the end of autumn. Because the end of autumn is the last cut of the year, I want at least the opportunity to look at my stocks of silage and hay before I decide what sort of mixture I'm going to do because the hay has to last me all the way through to the end of spring and I need to make sure I've got enough on hand to feed the cattle and the sheep. last year I screwed that up. I did a full silage cut on the last day of fall and I was meaning to do a, a hay cut and it left me very tight on hay availability for the winter and spring. Now fortunately we did get through to the end of spring. I think I had four hay bales left So, not a completely disaster, but that was a little bit tight and something, you know, I could have done without the, uh, the worry of do I have enough to feed everybody. At the moment, I've got the same issue with straw. Um, I think we've got about six bales left of straw in the cow yard. Possibly about 10 for the pigs. And the pigs don't go through straw that quickly. So the pig, pigs are not so much of an issue. But because cows use straw as bedding and as um, filler in the TMR. Six bales might not last me through the entirety of summer. Although they don't use much bedding during the summer. So that's, that's one thing. But they tend to use... Yeah, the next feeding session is probably going to use at least half of that. And we have to feed them every three days. So by the end of summer, or potentially by midsummer, that will all be gone. However, late summer I should be able to start pulling in the wheat and the barley. So that should see us through, um, that should just replenish the supplies as we absolutely need them. I really don't want to have to go down to the store and buy some straw to last me an extra day or two. Possibly I have enough at the, cow uh, the, the main, main yard where the pigs are. But again, that's you know the hassle of shipping that over to the other, the other farm. How are we doing? Twenty-three. So it looks like I'm on the line for. As soon as we've done this pass, we'll come back on the edge of where we already cut the field. Then I'll run it back up to the northeast corner again and collect the uh, rewrap, uh, wrap any of the mist bales, and then run the collection wagon around. By that time we will probably call it a day unless we get interrupted a little bit earlier. So no matter what happens, to keep continuity between this series and the next, this tractor will be going with us.
be one of the starter tractors in the new series. Since Smetty CMT Software has, has produced this for Farm Sim 19 already, I will be using this one in preference to the Platinum DLC models. Although any additional equipment will probably be drawn from the Platinum DLC. I may take the Valtra as well. Now I do have a Valtra pack, um, mod pack, which comes with uh, Valtra colours rather than Lizard colours. So I might take a Valtra T that's not purple for a change. Although I do like the purple colour, and I may take the Massey 5600 as well. Because it's just a nice useful tractor no matter where you are. Though I might go for something a little bit different. thing about GPS, you don't miss anything. I probably I may ship the animals, so there will be a delay between setting up the farm and uh, bringing in sheep, cows, so that we've got a supply of silage, pay available. I may sell the pigs from this farm and wait a year because obviously you're going to need a good supply of crops alone. Yeah, there's pig food. I could buy pig food to survive the first year. Because I'm, I'm aiming to transfer a lot of money to the new Saturday morning farm. Just because it's a a good, it's a mature farm. We got a lot of equipment, and so we have a variety of work that can be done. And having a lot of equipment, we've got the ability to set workers off doing stuff. We can do different stuff, except when we're doing something like this where I have to drive the mower, or I'm harvesting and I have to drive the uh, grain trailer. Yeah, when I've got ploughing and planting and cultivating all going on at the same time, I can switch between units and do different things. But a lot of the time it's me heading, yeah, picking up a vehicle that's just finished, taking it to a new field and doing a little bit of work there until the next vehicle finishes. But, uh, it's a thing. Oh. Yeah, 
that bale in the middle. So that's a gap, that's the thing. That's a gap. And that's the next line. where we can stop. So I will turn that off. We will jump out and go find the Baltra. Hi Baltra. We'll turn oh. Stop following and turn you off. Over to the Herleman. So these bumper weights seem to have issues. I mean it looks good sometimes works. So what have we done here? We need to go and grab the... oh. Try and knock that a little straight. There we go. Now that should fit in there nicely. Haha! <laughs> This on a moat stretch. Okay. Is it? Okay, let's do this. <laughs> let's break the hitch. That's always fun. A great deal of concentration, and I am going to hit the end of the mower. other bales. Oh, this here as well. And we are running down here, see what else is down here.
do like this tractor. It's a good alternative to the little Massey. It's something different. There is a mod of it for Farm Sim 19, but it's not a particularly good mod. There's some graphical glitches on the uh, um, the the icon that's under the speedometer, which is oh, um, which is up at the top left of the screen in Farm Sim 19. That has some issues which I find annoying, and when I find something annoying I tend to avoid using it in preference of something that looks better. Okay. So is that everything? here, see if I can see any more. I think I got them all. Yeah, that's looking okay. Okay, engine off. Let's go find the Massey Ferguson. See what that's doing. Not too bad. this is the helpers really aren't as there's improvements in farm sim 19 it's still not perfect but it is definitely better okay where's the uh, that one oh I did miss one He will probably again need another helping hand to turn around at that southern end of that field. Hopefully it'll happen when we get down there to unload this lot. completed his task. So 
Now it's looking like we've got about 80, 80 bales so far, plus what's still on the ground. jump and rip my pants. No. again oh. and off he goes again potentially that might be the last run there we go do we have so far? Um, so 124 today, that is about average for the entire field for early spring. So by turning from this bit here Plowing up the entirety of the grass field and replanting it. Potentially, we've got another 60 bales in here that haven't been cut yet. I'm not going to be too uh, worried about accuracy of picking them up at the moment because we're going to be running up and down this field quite a few more times yet I'll get these two just here and then I'll grab the wrapped one there which will give me a clearer shot at the unwrapped one. Attention, so I didn't notice if the Massey Ferguson had finished or not. What the hell's over there? Is there no sheep over there? Yay, yeah, sheep. So, 124. <coughs> Four, five, six, five, so thirty, eighty. So this will be ninety six stacked at the moment. Oops. 
So that'll be 112. And then we'll have a partial. Okay. Oh. Okay, I'll let that do its thing. Okay, you've done. Or is there a bit more? Oh, there's a bit more. Okay. I'll do it myself. How do I do it myself like that? There we go. Now he'll do it himself. That should be all of it. Handy. that one we missed. shreds. Well, the wrapping. Ah, uh, other button. There we go. Okay, you're done. Done. What does that field look like now? Okay. Need to run across the top and a run down the side which we're gonna have to do manually because the worker won't do that of course this is where the spreader and sprayer do a little bit better working with. That's the raise button. Okay, so a couple of bits along the bottom, don't care. A couple of bits over there. I don't know that I care about that either. So we'll take this down to here.
I could probably set this off now because it's going to take a while. Put the edge of the field round about here. Yay. He's going his way. And we'll go back to collecting bales. You can get a worker to cut grass so long as the field is a defined field, ploughed. Um, so this area where this tractor currently is is a is what some people call map grass what i call pasture it's not a defined field it's just an area of grass and a worker cannot cut that this bit here that i've just entered is a proper field i plowed it up and i planted grass in it and so yes a worker can cut this part of the yard The problem is, is the way I'm doing this, I've got a tractor that's running a triple mower system and a rake, and it's being followed by a tractor hauling a baler, and another tractor hauling a wrapper. And those can get into difficulty when they're on follow me, when the mowing unit does a turnaround. The mowing, uh, at the moment you'll see I'm doing alternate rows with the mower basically because that's what the turn radius of the tractor allows but it means that I'm not interfering with the baler and the wrapper coming up the other you know the adjacent row there's at least two rows between them all as they pass each other but um, you can't bail with a worker, you can't wrap with a worker. So you kind of need the worker to be following at least your uh, um, your windrower. And you can use a windrower on a worker as well. But it's kind of a job I like to do manually. Because I I, I the wrapper needs to be watched. Um, you'll, you'll notice if you were here earlier that um, the wrapper was missing the odd bale and sometimes those bales can get in the way of the train and you end up with all sorts of mess so that at least if you're in the lead tractor and keeping an eye on what's going on behind you there's not so much calamity that needs to be dealt with sort of after the fact. that 15 one or 16 okay but also this is the first year I've had this area plowed up and replanted as grass so prior to that I couldn't use a worker on this area anyway this is the sixth seasons year I've been playing this map, so five of those years I've been mowing this field manually anyway. I don't really mind it. How are we doing? It is game time 3.35 in the afternoon. So we've just gone half past three. And we have a tiny, tiny piece of grass left to cut. there should be about 12 bales left to collect at the moment. Uh, this tractor's short on diesel as well. 
Not as bad as the other one. Okay, put that down. Ten fifty-five. So as soon as I've collected these twelve, I'll park this back up where we had it before. I will be calling it a day because we now have friends coming round to help with the yard work. So, plans. Barring any other issues, this time next week we will be back on this field finishing off the mowing and the weeding. Uh, the bales themselves are going to take 48 hours to um, digest into uh, silage. So we store them at the side of the field until that's all done. Engine off. As for everything else, um, I will be back streaming on Monday and since the old stream farm seasons on the old stream farm is now complete, I'm gonna have to come up with something else to play. Uh, I've completed the objectives in World of Warships, so there will be probably only one World of Warship, Warship session next week. Um, possibly later in the week, maybe Thursday. And we'll probably go with a random gaming week again. And then once we've finished the house move and we're ensconced in our new place, I'll try and set up a more regular um, streaming schedule. But for now, on a warm spring afternoon, the sun is shining. We have 1.4 million pounds in our bank accounts, and we have a lot of crops growing. down here that's becoming fertilized so you can see the rows we have to cut are the dark blue ones we'll run through those next week so at 124 bales uh, the hens have laid two eggs in the last few hours two hours and for now I wish you a good weekend and I'm out of here